Hi there, it's Mark here at MAS Audio and today I'm just doing a quick video. I will do a full uh, proper video on this um, but this is just the experimental stage. Uh, we are working on a Ford and it has the Sync 2 system, uh, non-navigation and we are uploading and updating software to it to give it navigation. Um, now I haven't done this one yet before, this is the first one, uh, so this is a bit of an experimental one uh, for us. Um, we've got uh, some software on the laptop and a OBD connector uh, and the update software. So we're going to have a little play with this, see how it goes and uh, yeah, we'll do a couple of clips but uh, I've got another car coming in and I'll probably set up a camera and do a proper video on it. Uh, so you can see each step as we go through it. Um, obviously, if it is successful, this will be a uh, an install we can do uh, for anybody. So um, all we need to do is get a map card, uh, which is this one, uh, as you can see, a Ford map card, F for Europe. Uh, this is edition seven, um, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Oh, the system's rebooting now after its first update has been installed. Um, but yeah, I'll do a couple more bits and uh, a couple more video clips, uh, so bear with me. We'll see how we get on with this. Right, so uh, we are currently still installing the first step, uh, which is um, the 310 update with the navigation uh, software. Um, the next step is to do the navigation update. Um, so we're just waiting for the software to uh, install, um, which is just in that little USB stick connected there. And uh, yeah, just waiting for this to do something now. But uh, yeah, we'll come back to it shortly. Until after you press OK on the final installation, complete message after this message. Right, okay, so it says it's finished, so we've got to press OK. Uh, installation complete. Okay. Um, <clears throat> right. So, after that update, nothing really has changed. Um, let's just go to settings and see if there's any stuff in the software. Uh, system information, let's have a look in there. Okay. Right, so this has changed. This said 3.08 um, before and then some more numbers. I should have taken a note of that first. Um, but now, as you can see, it says 3.10, so 3.10. And then 16180. Um, so that bit has changed. We still haven't got the navigation software bit in here, um, but I guess that'll be with the next step. So we'll get that ready. And the car's just turned itself off. Um, don't know why that's happened. Um, right, okay. So yeah, we'll do the next step, get the next step ready. Um, and we'll carry on and see what happens next. Okay, so uh, we've got Forescan loaded. Um, we have had an issue with the navigation update file. It said it was bad file or corrupt file and wouldn't install. Um, but uh, just as a something we're going to try, we've changed the navigation uh, activation. So we've added the navigation activation on that uh, first block there. And also the chap wanted uh, reverse camera, he's bought a reverse camera, so we've activated what we uh, hope is the reverse camera here. We've changed this, it was 0168, we've changed it to 0368. Um, so we're going to try that. Um, in fact, if I put it into reverse now, um, I don't know if the engine has to be running, I'll try that. Um, but uh, we'll see if that works as well now. And then... Uh, I don't know what we're going to do about the navigation, but the uh, the navigation update file, it said it was a bad file. So this may not work, unfortunately. 
Okay, so we've done the update so far, um, and the screen has now changed. So the information is now down on the bottom middle area where the home button was, and it's now saying insert navigation SD card. So we'll put our SD card in and see what happens now. Okay, so the screen has changed to navigation. Okay, so let's try hit pressing navigation, see if that does anything. Oh, what's this? A message. Uh, oh, it's just the thing. Responsibility of the driver. Ah, okay. So the, uh, the map has come up. Well, that's good. Uh, that's unexpected, actually, because of that uh, other file that wouldn't load up. I, um, yeah. Oh, well, that's brilliant. So that has now worked. So that other file, it, maybe it's an irrelevant file because it was for 3.08, not 3.10. Maybe it's just not needed. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have a play with this and see what it does. Let's just go into the um, uh, information. Um, no, go to settings and is it help I think and then system information yeah look navigation application version has now appeared uh, with the software so that has now installed it okay right well that's brilliant news so we've got that now working so this one has successfully updated and has now got navigation installed great well thanks for watching and we'll do a more in-depth video um, I've got a new camera that I'm going to be trying out and some new editing software to try and make my videos a little bit better rather than just using the phone um, so yeah I've got a Yi action camera and a um, uh, some mounts and different bits and bobs so I'm gonna have a little experiment with that uh, and uh, do some more videos but yeah I want to I want to vid next car that I get in I think we've got one coming in next week I want to do a full video of the whole process and um, and then show you guys uh, what actually happens from start to finish okay thanks for watching bye